Hey, this is Dead Gaming Live here with another GTA 5 online video. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty good myself. Um, I finally got a different kind of content for you guys here in this video. I know we've been talking about changing it up here on the channel just a bit. Again, we're still going to be doing all the glitches just the same, but I want to have different content for when the glitches are dry. Okay, so today I have for you how to become better at combat and free mode. And we're going to touch on a few things. We're going to touch on... Um, you know, just gunning, sniping, explosives, you know, sticky bombs, RPG, uh, fighting in first person, settings, all that kind of stuff. So, um, that being said, let's get into the video. Alright, the first thing we are going to touch on is the settings, but before I get into the settings, I just want to say, if you're ever going out to fight in free mode, you should absolutely be wearing a bulletproof helmet. It is the only piece of clothing that actually helps you in free mode okay so absolutely be wearing a bulletproof helmet so we're gonna touch on the settings okay and if you go to pause and settings camera and you will see that the factory settings for first person ragdoll is on first person combat roll is on first person third cover is off okay now I'm gonna show you examples of what it looks like for all of them when you're in gameplay in first person okay this is first person ragdoll and um, it's basically when you get hit by a car or something like that you see how the screen just goes everywhere you don't know what's up or down left or right and if you're in the middle of fighting and getting hit by a car that can be you know disorienting okay now that is first person roll and again if you're sniping in first person and that's first person cover right there if you're sniping in first person and then all of a sudden you got to switch to the machine gun you know and you got to you know fight and roll it's pretty disorienting okay so now um, this right here is the uh, bobblehead okay when you're running how your screen like bobbles side to side okay now we're gonna switch it back to my settings the settings I like to use and show you the difference to so go to camera put first person ragdoll on first person combat I'm sorry first person ragdoll off first person combat off first person head bobbing off and first person third person cover on okay now you see the difference for the ragdoll there when you get hit by the car it switches you to third person and I'm gonna show you the difference here when you're running you see how when you're running the bobblehead or whatever it's called you see how it's nice and solid and straight okay and that is first person third person cover now you see how it switches to third person and that is the roll there okay it switches to third person so you want to change the settings to off 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 and on okay so that would be the settings that you want to use because you are going to absolutely use first person any good combat fighter in free mode uses first person a lot okay you're going to use it with sniping and basically you know mainly sniping and me personally i've gotten so used to it with sniping that i use it a lot you know even gunning okay sometimes I just won't even switch I'll just stay playing in first person so you want to get used to first person and get them setting straight okay now first thing you want to do when you get to any session is set your weapon wheel like I just did there okay and if you're a CEO and own a CEO building you absolutely want to get the weapon safe so that way you can take any weapons out of your weapon wheel that you don't need or use every day okay now we're gonna talk about um, combat rolls and fighting right there and shooting you see how before I start any shot on a player I always roll first okay just so that way you know if he's already shooting at me you're already in the habit of rolling then coming up so you when you roll it unlocks his lock on you okay now if you got a situation like this with a player on the other side of a wall there or whatever or anytime you come in contact with a player the first thing you're gonna want to do is wait for him to roll then you roll okay you you never want to roll first okay you always want to wait for him to roll or wait for him to shoot at you okay and once he starts shooting then you roll now here's another tip for you if you have your weapon wheel the sticky bomb set as the one you know the explosive that's there when you're rolling and fighting with somebody if you are as long as you're holding the aim button you can just hit left on the d-pad and you'll throw a sticky bomb in the middle of you know the gunfight you are rolling, shooting rolling, shooting boom you throw a sticky bomb you throw it and then you just detonate it okay so that's a pretty good tip for you guys there all right now I'm also going to show you here the easy way out okay you have the sticky bomb set up and while you're aiming all you do is spam left on the d-pad okay and it'll automatically kill yourself all right 
Now, again, you see how I spawned in with no helmet? You always wanna make sure that helmet's on, and if you wanna kill yourself, you're holding down aim, like I just did again, you spam left on the D-pad and it'll work as long as you're not sniping and you're holding the aim button and the sticky bomb is set in your weapon wheel, okay? Now, let's move on to sniping. You see here, now look, and I'm sniping with somebody, I'm sniping with somebody, and I have my RPG set in my weapon wheel, and I just press the button to bring up the weapon wheel real quick in the middle of sniping, and flick over to the RPG and just hit the fire button, okay? And it's gonna hit the RPG exactly the spot where you were just sniping. So, you know, preferably you'll hit the player right there where you were just sniping. Okay, so that's a good tip for you guys. You know, if you wanna use the RPG in the middle of sniping. All right, now, whenever you're sniping, whether you're using the heavy or you're using the marksman, you wanna be in first person, okay? You see how fast I move side to side in first person? Now let's go out of first person. You see how slow it is there? Okay, so always wanna be in first person. And when you're sniping and you're sliding, you wanna slide side to side, maybe all the way to the right and then quick left. You know, it's like juking. Like if any of you guys played football or sports, you dupe the player trying to tackle you. You know, basically you wanna fake him out. Go left and right, you know, so he doesn't know which way you're going. All right, guys? And you know, you'll get used to the sniping in first person and then it'll become natural to you to be in first person. All right, now I wanna talk about Bull Shark. Now the only time I use Bull Shark is if another player is using it against me and if you're a CEO, you can call for it nonstop, okay? As long as you pick it up every time you drop it. If you drop it and don't pick it up, you can't drop another one unless you have bodyguards, all right? So I only use it if other players are using it and if they are, it happens a lot of times, CEOs now use it a lot. Now, for the heavy with Bull Shark, it's a one-shot kill. And for the marksman, it's a two-shot kill. It gives you more health, okay? So, you know, if you're shooting with somebody, gunning with somebody that's not using it, you obviously have a big advantage, okay? And with machine gun, it just gives you a lot more power, a lot more kick. All right, now I'm gonna show you some examples of sniping here, okay? You see how I'm sliding side to side? I keep moving, I keep moving. You know what I'm saying? I keep moving, and he's not. He's staying just the same. You know, so I just keep moving, keep moving, keep sliding side to side. And he didn't move and I got the kill, you know. Here's another example, you know what I'm saying? I'm just doing quick slides, quick slides left and right. You know, and he's not, you know what I'm saying? Again, doing it again, you see? He's not and I get the kill every single time. All right, I'm gonna show you a couple more examples of the sniping because sniping is a big part of the game whether you guys realize it or not. Okay, you see it now with the heavy. See how I'm sliding side to side? You know, Buddy kept killing himself, so I couldn't get the kill, but, you know, you just want to keep moving. Keep moving and wait for your shot with the heavy, okay? With the marksman, you just want to hold the trigger and keep sliding side to side. All right, now I want to show you how to lead somebody that's running. When you're using the heavy sniper, and the heavy sniper is best to use if somebody's running because it takes less shots to kill them, all right? When they're running, you just want to lead in front of them. Wait for them to come into it, and bam, you see that there? All right, always just lead in front of them. Don't try to chase behind them. Always lead in front of them and let them run into your your um, your target there. Okay, guys? All right, so I hope this video here was helpful for you guys. I know there's a lot of other stuff that I could touch on, but I just wanted to touch on the basics, you know, rolling and um, easy way out, sniping, bull shark, all that kind of stuff. I hope you guys like, you know, these, these different tips, especially the tip with when you're, when you're rolling and shooting, how to throw the sticky bomb, and because that really works and it's really, really helpful to me. Okay, guys, we're going to have a lot more videos on these here. Um, I'm, I think the next one I'm going to do is probably how to take down war stock vehicles like the jet, tanks, gunner truck, all that kind of stuff there, okay? So I'm going to keep these tips on how to fight in free mode coming. Also, we're gonna do tips on how to become a better racer, how to become a better jet pilot. I know that's one that a lot of people would like to watch, okay? Because I know, yeah, you might not be the type to go fly the plane all the time, but you gotta fight fire with fire. Same thing, if somebody's using bull shark, use it against them. If somebody's killing you in a plane, you know, you can either take them down from the sky, if take them down from on foot, which I can do pretty well, but if you can't do that, you gotta know how to fly a plane. You gotta combat fire with fire, okay? So I'll show you guys how to fly the plane good, and we're gonna touch on all kinds of topics with this series. So 
Hope you guys like this here. If you like it, hit that blue thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But before you subscribe, go check out my videos. I guarantee you that you will find some stuff that you like and is helpful, okay? And only subscribe if you're going to be an active subscriber. All right, guys, I, I, I take my time to try to put out videos every day for you. And I just want subscribers that are always going to watch the videos every day. All right? I appreciate all you guys. I love all you guys. And, hey, we hit 10K, baby. I'm going to try to do a 10, 10K special. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. But um, I'll figure it out. If you guys want to drop some ideas down in the comment section, I will take them ideas. And also, I did check out all you guys' ideas on the video where I asked for ideas on other content to do. I just haven't gotten a chance to message you guys back. And I've read some of the messages, PM and DM also. All right? So we're going to change it up a little bit. We'll keep the glitches coming, but, you know, we'll switch it up a little bit. Keep it more entertaining. All right, guys. Dead Gaming Live. Peace. Right.